Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the vlogs if you guys are new here. My name is Jenna, welcome. I'm doing a little few days in my life vlog because this week I have a work from home day today. So it's Tuesday and kind of a random work from home day for me, but my last day at this current position is on Thursday because I leave on Friday for Nashville. So we have a lot going on. I am rounding out all of my activities for caring and then I'm moving on to another position. So I start that on Monday of next week. Um, so less than a week, it's kind of crazy because I found out and signed the contract maybe like three or four weeks ago. So it's like very quickly approaching. If you guys can see the stain on my sweatshirt, it's from my scrambled eggs this morning. I thought I got it off, but it dried and obviously it didn't. And I went to Trader Joe's looking like this. So I am going to start this vlog with a little Trader Joe's haul and it's not a little one. I don't know why I said that because I basically have no food whatsoever in this apartment. So I got the works except for a lot of stuff that you have to use like a saucer or a pot for because we don't have that stuff yet. I have a set from college at home, but obviously there's no way for me to carry that back into the city. So I either have to have it shipped or my parents like offered to bring it in, which was really nice, but I don't want to make them do that anyway. Um, so let's just do a little haul here. So much countertop space, which I love. So I got eggs. I have those like almost every time that I'm home for breakfast. Blueberries. I was going to get strawberries too for smoothies, but they do not have them at all, which I thought was weird. Then I got these pizzas, they're kind of gross, but they didn't have the one that I like. And I don't think the one that I like would have fit in our little mini oven. So maybe I should measure for that next time I go. We also have some pumpkin ravioli. They have so much seasonal stuff there. It's like gorgeous and beautiful. I love all the fall things. I also got like five yogurts. I eat these every morning at work and I got apples too. That's like my favorite healthy snack is like an apple and peanut butter. Um, Cause it's just really easy and it's clean and you can also like I bring it to work too if I have to. Um, I got a bag of lettuce and mark my words, I will not be throwing this out by the time it expires. So I'm either gonna have salad for tomorrow at lunch or I don't know, I'm not feeling a salad right now, which like huge surprise there, like I'm not feeling salad, okay. Um, but I'll definitely make it over the next couple days. Then I have three cheeses. I use that for quesadillas, nachos, all that fun stuff. Mac and cheese. I get the reduced guilt because honestly, the regular one is way too much for me. And this is a really good portion size and it's reduced guilt. Basically tastes the same. And then I got ground turkey to throw on top of some chips and kind of make like a whole nacho taco situation. Obviously I had to get chip witches. Those are like my pride and joy. I got these little cheese slices for um, making grilled cheese. And also, I guess you could put them in eggs too, which I probably will, because those always go bad. And then I got shredded carrots for the salad because I feel like I always go to make a salad and I just put lettuce in a bowl and I'm like, that's not appetizing. So I tried to get something a little different to throw in there. We got cheese sticks because I'm a five-year-old and that is bag number one. All right, we'll do this one next. And this was a bag that I brought with me. And then I was like, why would I bring that? It's literally a dainty little bag that I got from an event, but it actually held up really nicely. So happy about that. I got puffins. I haven't had these since like, well, I bought them for the first time, maybe like four months ago in my old apartment. And when I finished them, I never bought them again, which I thought was a little bit weird because I thought they were really good. Um, so I'm excited to have those and just to have some like breakfast at home because I am going to be working from home a lot more now in my new position. So I'm very excited for that. And we got some pasta because I'm like, I basically have like three bow tie pastas left in the other package. So obviously needed to restock on that. I got some Italian dressing for the salad because I don't remember if I had some. Okay, I did not have any. So it's a good thing I've grabbed that. Then I also got, so I saw on Rachel Racky, no, Brayton, Rachel Auten Wreath's channel um, that she got the pumpkin pancake and waffle mix and that she gets like three boxes and there was like an entire shelving full of these, but they were like halfway gone. So I was like, I kind of just want to get one and try it out because I love pancakes and I feel like that would be a nice like 
cozy Saturday, Sunday morning breakfast to make. I got olive oil because we have to stock up. What is this leaking? No, it's just wet. Um, stocked up on olive oil because we don't have any of that stuff. Um, and that is why I also got this huge thing of salt. And there's pepper somewhere in here too. And then also for seasonal stuff, I got the autumnal harvest soup. I've heard that this is really, really good. I don't know if I'm gonna like it because I've never had butternut squash or pumpkin in my soup, but I don't know, I've heard good things and hopefully it's just mainly tomato based. And then I got lemons. I haven't had lemons in my water for like literally two months because I was getting lazy and I forgot them at Trader Joe's the last time I went, which was like literally two months ago, which is crazy. Um, I also got a baby pumpkin. We're still going on the autumnal train and two of the vanilla pumpkin candles. So I smelled this at my boyfriend's apartment and was like, holy crap. It's just like a really good scent. That's not like, I feel like fall candles when they're talking about like pumpkin pie candles and like anything that has to do with autumn, unless it's like the leaves scent from Bath and Body Works that they're like overly sweet and just like really saturated and these are nice and light along with i'll show you guys this other one that i've been burning that i kind of stole from my mom she like gave it to me i asked for one of the nest ones that she had and she basically was like no take this instead <laughs> this is the sand and paws brand and i think she got this yeah it's from marshall's it's eight bucks white pumpkin scent they sell them online so i can lick it for you guys but for some reason it's like twenty dollars honestly it's kind of worth it but i don't think anyone should spend twenty dollars on a candle because I would not. Um, and the last bag that I have here is some exciting stuff. So we have croissants. I've tried like every croissant under the sun and I'm not even exaggerating. Like I've tried Costco's. I've tried basically every coffee shop in New York City that I've gotten a coffee from. I've tried their um, croissants and those are actually really good, especially for like an at-home one. And then we got bananas. I like these for like rice cakes and peanut butter and stuff for breakfast and also in smoothies and then I got this bread so this is the Tuscan pain bread I'm like going through every single item you guys probably don't care but this is my life um and then I got syrup because oddly enough I didn't have any syrup in my apartment for an entire year which means I haven't had pancakes in a whole year except for one time I think at home so I just got the syrup because we need to normalize making really nice breakfasts over the weekend and maybe even during the week. I also got another pumpkin because I thought that, where's my other one? Oh, I thought these would look really cute together, especially with the candle. Like I'll make a little counter display with these three. Ooh. Okay, that almost broke one of my mugs. So we need to stop fooling around now. I'm gonna put the pumpkins up on this ledge right near the camera. And then, I got tortillas. This is like quesadillas, tacos situation. And I also got the pumpkin, the pecan pumpkin oatmeal because my boyfriend was raving about it. So I figured I would try it. Cucumber for the salad and pepper because we don't have any like seasonings at all. I think I have like one Tuscan seasoning in here and then like truffle oil. So like the most random things ever, but we just had to get the basics and that is everything I picked up. Oddly enough, all of this stuff is $100 and I thought my bill was gonna be like 180. So I'm happy that it was very like, a lot lower than I thought it was gonna be, but I still didn't get like chicken this time because I have some from my last food shop that's in the freezer um, and a couple of other things that I'm still gonna have to get next time I go. I just was holding off because I don't have any like pans. So I got some stuff that's gonna need to be cooked in a pan, but for the most part, all of this stuff is like, I don't know, finger food. Except like I can't, I can't cook anything. I just have to get a set of pans. Um, but I'm gonna put all this away and then get started with making lunch because I'm in the middle of my lunch break right now. And because I went to Trader Joe's, it like took up most of it. So I have like 15 minutes to eat and then I have to hop back on to my computer and finish out the work day. just realizing looking at the mirror that it needs a bit of a dust but I just signed off from work for the day 
I have like an email drafted and if my boss wants me to send it tonight, then I'm gonna send that and then I'm free to go. It's almost six o'clock and I'm going to the next game. So my friends Marina and Lauren are going and they had an extra ticket. So they invited me to go with them and I'm just gonna get ready quickly because my hair is basically already done. I washed it last night, it's getting like way too long but I don't have time to do anything about it. And I'm gonna just wear my uh, NYX hat because I don't have any other clothes. And we'll see what I end up putting together. I kind of want to wear my brown snakeskin Vince Camuto boots, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I had a very long day of work. I got a lot done and I finished my last final assignment for my company <laughs> for when I leave. Obviously I still have like little things here and there. This mirror is literally making my skin look splotchy because there's that much dust on it. Um, but yeah, so it feels really great. It's also kind of sad because that's like the last work that I'll ever do for this company. I mean, my new brand is basically like a part of this company, but it's separate. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so feeling very accomplished and now I'm excited to go and celebrate with a little basketball game and just wanted to give you guys some room updates and I'm kind of like trying to figure out what I want to do but it's almost like I don't want to do anything to my furniture and stuff because I just got this a year ago and I feel like if I change it already then I'm going to want to change my furniture every single year which is kind of ridiculous but I don't really have a classic style when it comes to interiors yet so I'm kind of trying to figure that out right now but there's just like, my bedspread is a year old and it's like old and dingy and especially with white bedding, it's really hard to keep it white. So if anybody has any tips, let me know. Cause I've washed this duvet like three times and it's still like grayish looking. So I feel like I just need a new one at this point. Um, but it was $99 and I got like three, no, two, two years of use out of it. And then the rug, I'm not really sure if I wanna keep this and it's only because when I went to look at rugs for the living room, there are these jute rugs and I absolutely loved the way that it looked, especially since like this is gonna be like my outfit of the day mirror and I kind of wanted to have this be like a neutral color instead of having like all of this going on. I liked it for my other room because it needed to cover the ugly cherry wood floors. <laughs> um, but now I'm kind of wanting to do something a little bit more neutral. Huge surprise there. It would kind of be like a shade lighter than my chair or maybe like the same ish shade so that I would just have like the black, the tan and the white um, and then just do color in the accents and things like that. So I have like my New Yorker print here and then I don't know if, what I'm doing about the horse painting. I wanna switch this one out too because it's very harsh. Like I feel like now that I have a black dresser and I also ended up getting a black nightstand, there is a lot of black in here and I kind of want to lighten it up a little bit. Like the only thing is like my nightstand that is regular wood. That is also my headboard in the hallway. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The way that it secures is not very secure. And so I wanted to possibly get a new headboard. Also because the tone of the linen on it is, I don't even know if it's real linen, but it's like a cool tone. And you can see that like every other like brownish tone that I have in my room is kind of warm. So that's also a possibility, but that was really inexpensive. I think it was $80. So if I get another one that's $80, I feel like it won't break the bank, but I have to see after we get all the necessities like cutlery and pots and spatulas, like all the stuff that we actually need, I want to get first so that afterwards I can kind of decide if I have like room in the budget to switch some things over because also these curtains behind me, these are from college and you can tell that they're kind of gray. So I wanted to switch them out for like a creamy um, like linen version that you can get off Amazon and they're really inexpensive too. So everything's just going to be at, re at really good price points. Obviously, I'm not sitting here trying to blow a bunch of money because I don't have like a permanent roommate or a permanent um, apartment space. So I just want to be realistic in that sense. So that's the update with that. But I will obviously show you guys when the coffee table comes in, when the rug comes in. They should all be here by the next either next week or the week after. I think about like 10 days is like the most. So that'll be super fun to unbox with you guys and we'll set up the whole living room space because it's very, very empty right now. We don't even have like a TV or TV stand in there. It's literally just the couch. Um, but yeah, so really long winded update, but I feel like I haven't given you guys one yet because in my last vlog, I was kind of just unpacking and it was hectic. So just wanted to calm it down and 
let you guys know what I'm thinking, but obviously I'll take you guys along to that entire process. But I'm going to stop talking now. I need to get ready. My curling iron is plugged in and I think I have to leave in like 20 minutes and I have like no makeup on or anything. Okay, now is seriously not the time, but I wanted to test out to see if I can get the same angle as I used to get in my old bathroom. And here we are. It is a little bit echoey in here because we still have to get like a towel bar to go behind me because we don't have one in here. And there's no place to hang our towels because this door is a mirror. There's like mirrors on the back of every door in this apartment. Um, but yeah, so I forgot to tell you guys that I actually tried the Blank Street Pumpkin Spice Latte and I've never had a pumpkin spice latte before. Earlier this week, I tried the Starbucks Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew and it didn't really taste that pumpkin-y and that's kind of what was like turning me off of it because I was like, I don't want like really pumpkin-y things because I've smelled the pumpkin before and I'm like, no, why would anyone want to drink that? But it's actually really, really good. It basically just tastes like a latte that has like a little bit of fall sprinkled into it, if you know what I mean? And then um, just like cinnamon on top. So I loved it and now I want to try every single pumpkin spice latte in the city. But at the same time, my friend Jenna recommended these syrups that they sell on Amazon and she's like, they're amazing. I'm drinking it right now. And I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna have to try that too. Cause I'm also ordering my regular Tarani like coffee syrups off of Amazon in my next order because I ran out right before I left. Or I think there was like one little cap full of the caramel one and I was like, no way am I moving this entire bottle if there's only one serving left. And I probably shouldn't have done that. Like my mom would be so disappointed in me and being a Greek lady who literally would not waste a thing if she could. Um, but yeah, that day was already stressful. I didn't need to worry about that stuff. Um, but yeah, that day I was already bringing the necessities and I just didn't feel like bringing that. So I'm placing a new order for a three pack of flavors and it should be coming probably like by the end of this week or next week. I don't know if I should wait to order it because I don't know when Amanda's moving in and obviously I don't like want the packages sitting in the lobby like in everybody's way. So I might just wait until like Saturday and place the order so that by Monday I'll be back and then everything will get here. But this is my five minute makeup. I'm gonna try to put on some bronzer because for some reason like overnight, it's not overnight, it's like the, over the past week I've gotten so pale. And it's like, okay, why did I spend all these hours in the sun if my tan was gonna go away in two days? I don't really know. So we're dealing with the winter elements already and one of them is being pasty and we're just gonna have to roll with it because we have like nine months of this in New York City. So. I'm gonna get dressed now and show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay, I'm ready and probably incredibly overdressed, but I have a little crop on from Cotton On. I have these in three colors and I have two in black, so that's four total, which is probably a little bit too many. And then I have this little um, Saint Laurent bag on. I don't know what the name of this one is, which is terrible, but I will look it up for you guys because I have it in white too and it's the best little like going out bag. And then I have on some leggings. These are from Third Love, aloe socks, little Nikes. And my next hat, probably, like I said, way too dressed up, but I kind of just threw it on and I don't really have another choice because I have to leave right this minute. This dust, I just can't take it. guys happy is it Wednesday yes it's Wednesday um I just got home from work and I'm about to leave in a second to go to the Uniqlo store and have a look around but I just got my first Amazon package in so I figured I would do a little unboxing with you guys just gonna give a little disclaimer this stuff is a little bit boring but this, these are like 
the first things that I ordered for some reason. It's so random and I have two more things coming tomorrow. But the first thing I got is Folex. This is like the best stain remover on the planet. It says it's for carpets, but you can literally use it on everything. And our couch got a little bit dirty from the floor when we moved it. So I just want to spray it in those spots that are a little bit questionable and wipe them down. The second thing I got is cutlery. So we finally have forks and knives. And I'm so excited about this because um, I'm actually making dinner in my apartment tonight. We're going to do I think I have them here. little pork and ginger soup dumplings. And there's six in here. So hopefully it's enough for me and my boyfriend because I told him there were eight in there. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just have three each and then I'm going to do jasmine rice on the side and probably a little salad because I told you guys that I have an issue with throwing out the salad, not getting to it before it goes rotten, but I'll just show you guys the stem of the utensils that I went with. I just did something super simple, but honestly, I was scrolling through Amazon for a really long time, like probably an embarrassing amount considering this stuff is like pretty basic, but I went with this little handle. It's very like simple, minimal. Not that it really matters. It's for like eating and I feel like you just need the bare minimum with that. But there were a couple other ones that were like a little bit cheesy and I just wanted something that was simple but didn't look cheap. And I feel like these are a really good weight and a really good shape. So um, yeah, I went with these. I'll link these for you guys. I'll link the Folex. I'm probably gonna link everything for you because there's not that much in this order. It also came with like serving spoons and stuff, which I won't need, but good to have, I guess. And then the last thing, I forgot what it is. So I guess I'll just open it. I also, I also cannot remember where I put my box cutter. So I'm just opening my boxes with a key. Oh, okay. This makes sense. Um, but yeah, just being really old fashioned. So I got a little organizer. Some of the silverware sets came with its own organizer, but I, this one that I ended up choosing didn't come with one. I just want to make sure this fits in the drawer before I take it out. Right now I have the glass straws and my Nespresso things. Oh, fits perfectly and it expands. So basically this is our utensil holder. So we have a spot for forks, knives, spoons, and um, what are those called? The glass straws, which I could probably put on the outside. And this is something that I ordered when I wasn't here. I think I was at home for the weekend, but I was like, I actually really need one. Because the okay, is there a staple sticking out? I think it's fine. Um, but I didn't measure or anything, so I was a little bit nervous that it wasn't gonna fit but it is adjustable. So basically you have like the normal compartments and then you can pull it out on either side and make an extra one, which I thought was great because we have like the glass straws and things that have to be stored in something like this. So it's just nice to be able to have a couple extra compartments just in case you need them. So that's everything I picked up from Amazon. I also loved this huge bag back from work today because my mom came and dropped it off to me so i was contemplating just ordering all new like pots and pans and stuff and i ended up having a couple from college so i figured i would have those and use them until i can actually get like whatever else we're gonna need i don't even know what's in there honestly i also know there's a toaster and the air fryer is at work because i couldn't carry both bags and the air fryer is really really heavy so i guess i will be carrying it home on my last day of work tomorrow, which is going to be great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to probably have a little snack uh, because I'm getting very hungry and it's like almost six o'clock and I'm going to head over to Uniqlo and then do a nice little at home dinner because it's still right. Did I tell you guys it was raining already? It's still like a little gloomy and raining in New York. Tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful. And for the next like week and a half, it's supposed to be gorgeous. So I'm looking forward to that because it's going to be nice fall weather, even though I'm not gonna be here on the weekends anyway, or on this, actually, for the next few weekends, I'll be going home at least one of the days because we have like Oktoberfest and all that fun stuff. So yeah, it'll be nice to just do a little at-home meal and just spend some time in the apartment before I have to leave for the weekend to go to Nashville. Natasha?
All right, you guys, it is over a day later since I spoke to you and it's now Thursday. I just got all of my stuff together for my trip to Nashville and I basically didn't have time to vlog and show you guys all the outfits that I'll be wearing because I was on the bus for two and a half hours coming home from work today. There was so much traffic and of course this was my last time commuting on the bus ever. I mean, if I choose to do it in the future when I go to my... Um, like if I have to go to the office in New Jersey, then I obviously can do that. But like theoretically, this is the last time I would have to take the bus. So yeah, of course that happened to me. I also had to bring home this, is it this one? Yeah, this has my air fryer in it. It's like super heavy. You can see that the straps are like all like pulled and stuff. So I had that and then I had my work toe on the other shoulder. And so I was just like walking around with all this baggage and then this was the one that I brought home the night before. So it's finally all here. I'm not going to unpack it yet because Amanda is coming this weekend to move in. And I didn't want any of this stuff to be in the way. And I just don't have time to get it together because it's like almost 11 o'clock now. And I have to go to bed because I'm getting up at like probably 5 a.m. And I just dried my hair. Uh, we just have to be ready by the time we go to... to the airport because we are getting off the plane and like basically going to do activities. So full day tomorrow, we're gonna have a whole separate vlog for Nashville, which I'm hoping can be like long enough to be in a vlog, but if not, it'll just be like a quick 10 minute, like what we ate slash saw slash did in Nashville. Um, but I think it's gonna be really fun. We Well, I know it's gonna be fun. Um, we have like a group of seven of us going and this is my stuff all packed up here, so. Just give me you guys a sneak peek. I'm gonna wear this leather jacket on the airplane. That's my full leather one from H&M. I have a denim jacket, a couple of skirts, booties for going out at night. I'm obviously bringing my T3 curling iron. We have, that's like the only bag I'm gonna be bringing, which I kind of have to leave out because it has my wallet in it. Pajamas, and then a couple of like night outfits that are on the bottom. And then somewhere in here is my denim jumpsuit, which I'm wearing one of the days. So that's basically everything. I threw this together super quickly, but I feel like that's all we need for a two-day trip, basically. So I come back on Sunday. We're probably going to get back here at around like 1. And then I start my job on Monday. So really going full-fledged with all the activities and not really giving myself a break before we start, but that's fine. Um, but I'm going to sign this vlog off here because we're going to start another one for Nashville. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little like day to day kind of vlog. This is like the first time I'm in this apartment and chatting to you guys during the week. So I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.